Well, on the eve of a new season, it's good to catch up with the Top Gun himself, Joe Piggott. Of course, you've won FIFA Associated Awards in the past. You've won Player of the Month Awards. You've won the Junior Dons Award. What does it mean to you to win the PFA Community Champion for Wimbledon? Yeah, well, obviously, hello, guys. It's been a long time. Um, but, yeah, no, it's a re really nice award to win and uh, nice to feel appreciated in the community. And usually, of course, it's been the captain, Will Nightingale, who's picked up this award. Probably more even of an achievement to pick it up this time to get it off, loosen the grip off him, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Will's such a top lad and he's got a great relationship with the fans and obviously his local community, which he lives in as well. So, no, it's really good. What aspects of the work that have you enjoyed, though? Because I hear the story that uh, whilst we were in lockdown, you phoned up an elderly supporter. So, tell us a bit about that. Um, yeah, no, it wasn't, it wasn't just that, that particular sport. It was just... just Speaking to a few people, seeing how they're getting on, and uh, just checking up on them. Really, I mean, not just a, you know underlying health issues, but for you know mental issues as well. Just um, yeah, just looking after our own. And you're great around the dressing room, as we know. But is that sort of kind of like really a part of your nature? Do you know to care to people in this sort of situation? Uh, yeah, no, I think so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, depending on the person, I'll either give them tough love or uh, you know the good love, good kind of love. But yeah, no, I just you know I try and get everyone involved and uh, you know, just be positive at all times. Well congratulations on the award, of course here we are on the start of a new season coming up now. Different kind of season we've got ahead of us here, no supporters around as well, what does that make you feel? Um, yeah, no, obviously it's lovely to be back and have that feeling of starting, starting the season. Um, but yeah, no, it's a little bit strange. Last Saturday was a you know, it was a, obviously a really good performance by us, but at the times in the stadium it was pretty weird, um, having no fans and, and actually even no background noise, which was which we've had since we've played at Loftus Road. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's great to be back. Is that something that you feel we could do with a little bit more, perhaps the artificial noise, till we get the fans back? Uh, yeah, I think it helps. Yeah, as a player and watching games, I, I do think it helps. Yeah, we're just really looking forward to getting the fans back and um, obviously the news from this week doesn't look great for the 1st of October but um, I don't think the stadium's going to be ready till at least the end of October anyway so hopefully we can coincide that with um, you know, can hopefully in the Plough Plow Lane. And that is the big thing of course this season yeah. as well, the club going home to Plough Lane. Have you been able to get down and have a look around yeah, a bit? Yeah, of course. I think all the lads have been there two or three times since we've been back um, which you know, looks really, really exciting. And uh, yeah, that would be a great moment, but you know, we've got to be patient and um, get used to our temporary home at, at QPR. But um, yeah, no, it'd be, it'd be a shame to, to open Plough Lane anyway without any fans in, so you know, we'll uh, really look forward to that. And in the time you've been here, how much do you realise that that is the, the real sort of final piece of the jigsaw, if you like, to the story? Yeah, of course, it's, I mean, it's absolutely huge. Um, it goes without saying, you know, speaking to fans since I've been here and um, yeah, the history you know, takes us back to, to where we started, which is uh, exactly what all the fans want. Changes to the squad as well. Um, there's some good characters in that changing room that have moved on. It's a younger group this year. How are they uh, blending in together? Yeah, no, they're blending in really well. Training's been, you know, really, really proud. I've been really, really impressed with training uh, for the last six or so weeks now. So everyone's just uh, absolutely buzzing to get on and start the season. And the squad seems like it's in a really good place. Gaffer and Dawsey have done a great job in bringing in players. So um, yeah, we've just got to back that up now and start the season really well, <laughs> unlike last year. So yep. um, yeah, we're all really excited. That's something that Will's remarked upon as well. Even though the fact that we've we've been in this crisis and under lockdown as well. The way you've come back into training here seems to have been a very professional approach. Yeah, I mean, I can't speak highly enough of the lads' professionalism. We've all come back in and looking really fit. And Chris has been, well, I think quietly, he's been happy, but he doesn't look like it. He's been uh, pleased with all the all the lads' results and how they've come back in shape. So yeah, it's good stuff. And the array of strikers we've got as well now. I mean. Uh, you're looking forward to linking up with Ollie Palmer? Yeah, definitely. Looking forward to look, linking up with all the, all the guys. So, um, yeah, no, it's nice to have plenty of options, probably a few more than we had last year, which we need. Um, and obviously, the schedule's, the schedule's going to be even tougher this year, so, yeah, we really need to 
use the squad as much as we can and uh, pick up as many points as we can. And creativity as well. I mean, you look at Ethan Chislett and Ryan Longman, they're two very promising players as well. Yeah, yeah definitely. Two very promising young players, which I've showed already. And, uh, looking forward to linking up with both of them and, you know, not just improving them, but hopefully they can improve me as well. And your role as well now, I mean, you're actually one of the, the more senior members of the squad in a very young group. Is that something you're looking forward to embracing, yeah? Uh, yeah, definitely. Which, you know, seems crazy to think that I've got to be one of the senior, senior members, but um, yeah, no, it's a role I'm willing to take on and uh, support all the boys through through thick and thin. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, giving that sort of tough love sometimes and then putting an arm around some of the lads when they need it. And uh, yeah, just, just making the group great place to be around and uh, a team that's you know good off the pitch but really good on it as well. How much do you feel that wearing the captain's armband at times that's brought you along as a player as well yeah? Uh, yeah definitely it's, I think it has yeah but it's something you don't really think about too much um, I mean as a striker my, my first instinct has got to be to score goals so but um, yeah there's, we've got plenty of leads within the group I mean obviously Will's captain but you know we've got some other experienced lads like Cal Lukey, uh, Ollie's coming in as well, and Woody, he's another great leader, so yeah, we've got, we've got plenty of uh, experience in there now. Just something else we've got to finish up on as well, we had the pleasure over the summer of talking to uh, England fast bowler Mark Wood, who's been feeding us bits of information that you've yeah. been a bit cagey about <laughs> in terms of your cricketing career and Paul Farbrace. Uh, yeah. I've heard that he's got a bit of gas actually, that he's uh, he was a quick bowler, Farby had him, he said he was a good cricketer as well, um, so I think that, um, you know, if he maybe wants to switch roles or I'm not sure I can do as good a job with him up top but uh, if he fancies to go as a, a ball and partnership with me I'll get him on the other end and we'll have, we'll have a go together but um, feed the pig and he will score is the crack isn't it so um, feed the pig and he will ball that's what I'm hoping he's going to come on we can do a role reversal Good memories of those days? Yeah great memories yeah I mean I get a bit jealous now when I see him steaming in bowling 93 mile an hour against the Aussies, but yeah, no, it's brilliant. I love, love watching every minute of cricket, so um, yeah, fair play to Woody. And if we can get your diaries together, he's very keen on coming down here and having a game of football yeah, and watching you in the net. Yeah. Get, we need to get him up in training in the seven aside up top with me, see how he gets on. Pigs, well done. Cheers, thanks guys.